push the water here and the water is a whole circle. And of course when I turn, the wheel turns. You see, here is the, the part, the, the water has a charge and there the charge is sort of uh, used up, one might say. So the water has to come back here and get get the new charge again. And so it goes around the circle. So what do you mean by a charge? A charge is really the amount of water we are pushing around here. That is the right. charge. We call it a charge deliberately because we, after all we want to talk about electricity, don't we? So, the, it's so simple, you see. It is a complete circle of water. Didn't they have something like this in, around castles in the olden days? Oh, yes, they called it a moat. The same thing, you see, a complete circle of water uh, to keep sort of unwanted guests out of the castle. What if you turn the wheel the other way? Well, then we are reversing polarity, aren't we? You see, if you turn around everything else, turns the other way. So does reversing polarity mean changing the direction? Changing the direction, that's right. Yes, in electricity, that is reversing polarity. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what do you change it back and forth? That can be done also, and it is an important process. If I do this and that, I am alternating, remember the word, alternating the flow of the water, don't I? You see? I'm alternating, going backwards and forwards. Now that's important when we talk about the electrical setup later on. Alternating current. So, can you stop the current flow while this wheel is turning? Oh yes. If we insert here a disc, now in electricity we call it a switch. A switch is two conductors which touch or don't touch. Who's that butting in? Oh, this Professor Luke, he's trying to get his foot in, foot in here. It's not his time yet. Oh. Now, uh, what's the point of this model? Aren't we talking about electricity? The point is, in virtually all electricity and electronic applications, we use a circuit. But in electricity, we cannot see it. We cannot see what happens. We cannot see electricity flowing. We can only see what it does. And by using this model first, we understand what we really mean by an electric circuit. So would this be like a brick if we were building a house? Yes, this is a fundamental building stone. That's right. Okay. Now let's look at the same arrangement as we have here in electricity. So what's this? This is a generator. In the previous model we had a wheel to give it a push. Here we have a generator that creates voltage. When I turn, it creates the voltage which pushes the electrons around the circuit. Okay, so this is like the wheel. Yeah. And the electrons are like the water. That's right. And even though the electrons are still there when you're not pushing this. And I'm not turning, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. You see? But where do electrons come from? From everywhere. All matter that is you, me, everything around us is made from atoms. Oh, please have some patience, uh, Professor Luke. Your turn comes later. But, uh, you know, he is right. Everything we have, we are, everything we have, everything we see is, is matter. Matter consists of atoms and atoms have electron, electrons. And it's the voltage that makes the electrons move, provide we have a material that conducts. And metals, of course, are conducting. So, if we have some push, we call that voltage. That's right. And how do we stop the motor when you turn? How do we stop the motor when we are turning? Well, Richard, that's a topic for our professor. Hello, Luke, your turn. Tell us about switches. When the switch is closed, the light is on. But when the switch is opened, 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that.